Yeah. 
motion that I will see here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, God. Father God, we thank you this morning. We bless your name on today, God. God, we are gathered today, God, to glorify you, God. To lift you up on this day, God. Oh, God, I so do magnify you this morning, God. For you are the great and mighty God. Oh, God, there's none like you, God. And God, you have been so good to us, God. God, with the least we can do, God, is give you some praise, God. God, we say thank you this morning, God. We bless you this morning, God. We thank you above all that you have done, God. All that you are doing right now, God. And all that you're going to do, God. We say thank you right now, God. We thank you, Lord, for making a way out of nowhere, God. We thank you, Lord, when things are dried up, God, how you show up, God. We thank you, Lord, for being a miracle worker, God. We thank you, Lord, for knowing how to make a dollar out of 15 cents, God. We thank you, Lord, Robo Shun that I'm say here. Oh, God, that you say, God, that you are a shepherd, God. And because you are a shepherd, God, we shall not want, God. In other words, God, there will be no lack in our lives, God. We thank you, Lord. Oh, God, that you are healer, God. Oh, God, that you said in your word that all sickness is not unto death, God, but that you might get glory, God. We thank you, Lord, all of us, God, that you bore all of our sickness, God. And God, you said by your stripes, God, that we are healed, God. We thank you, Lord, that at your name, God, all sickness got to bow down, God. All ailments got to come to a hope, God. All pains got to dry up, God. And we thank you, Lord, for you are powerful, God, and you are mighty, God. We thank you, Lord, about Shondo, that you are mind regulator, God. Oh, God, when our thoughts run off, God. Oh, God, when our mind wants to control, God. Oh, God, you know how to regulate our thoughts, God. We thank you that you've given the power, God, to call those thoughts into captivity, God, and to pull down strongholds, God. We thank you, Lord, that you are the Alpha, that it all begins with you, God. And then, God, you got the nerve also, God, to be the maker, God. That it all ends with you, God. We say thank you, Lord. Have your way today, God. Have your way on today, God. God, we know circumstances are different on this day, God. But we also, God, we know that you already do. How we might look at a different God, but you already knew, God. Move on a mighty way today, God. Bless your people, God. Heal the sick, God. Horrible, oh, shut up. Uplift those that are, that are broken and down, Father God. Encourage somebody. Let somebody know, God, they can make it, Father God. And it's not over. That your word said, I will supply all your needs. Hey, hey. According to my riches and glory. We give you the praise, God. We thank you right now for your presence, God, that's already here. Ah. Now we invite your power to reign in the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, for those that are in the house, God, and for those that are on the line, I speak to them right now, God. Let your presence, God, be evident. We give you the praise, God, the glory and the honor, God, in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Give God a praise and tell him thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody tell him thank you this morning. Ain't God good? Ain't he all right? How do I know? Because I tried him and I found out that he's all right. What do you mean you tried him? I, see, I was going through some things. Come on. Y'all, y'all ain't been through nothing. Amen. I, I was going through some stuff. I, I, was, I, I, I was down to nothing. Anybody been down to nothing? Amen. I, I was going through some things. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And I tried God at his word. I'm talking, about at a, I'm talking about a place where there's nothing in the cabinets. No food in the cabinets. Amen. I, sleeping on somebody else's couch. What y'all know about that? Amen. Hallelujah. Let me, get the, let me get these folks back on. Amen. Sleeping on somebody else's couch. Amen. I, uh, the jobs and dried up. I've been there. Who been there? Amen. I, I'm talking to, I, see, I tried him. I've been where my back has been against the wall. Come on, somebody. Anybody got a Walmart? Amen. Not a Walmart, but a Walmart. <laughs> Anybody got a 
up on your back, then bend against the wall. You ain't been able to move this way and move that way. Come on, somebody. Amen. See, I, I've been there, and so I have, I, and I got a mark to, to prove it. Amen. I, I got some scarred up knees to prove it. Amen. I, see, and I've been there. Huh? I tried him. See, what I was doing wasn't working. I would get some temporary fixes. Come on, amen. I, uh, you know, I might be homeless and I might not have a job. Come on, amen. I, and I might not have money on today, amen. And I was doing some things, amen, and I would get some temporary fixes. I, you know, she might give me a couple of dollars and she might cook me a chicken and he might make me a pot of beans. Uh, I had some temporary things that were going on, but those things weren't going to last. Come on, somebody, amen. I, and mind you, I was grateful of those things. Amen. And grateful that God had blessed somebody hard to bless me. Come on, amen. I, but I still was uh, lodged against the wall. Anybody been lodged against the wall? I'm, I'm talking about you can't go this way, huh? and you can't go that way. Huh? I mean, you don't even see a way out of this thing. Amen. And then the Lord took me to his word. Amen. And Matthew, the 6th chapter, 25th verse, we ain't going to amen. He said, take no thought. Don't worry about what you're going to eat. Don't worry about what you're going to drink and what you're going to worry. In other words, don't worry about the things you need. I already promised you that. All you got to do is seek me. Seek me in my righteousness. All you got to do is seek to live for me. And then all that stuff you that got you pent against the wall, huh? I'm going to add those things on when you start seeking me. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, wait a minute, God. Wait a minute, God. And the preacher was up preaching, and I said, Lord, say it again if it's for me. And she said, I'm telling you right now, if you seek God and his righteousness, all this stuff you're trying to get, amen, God will give it to you. Come on, somebody, amen. I said, okay, God, I'm going to try you at this. Matter of fact, that same night that when God broke that word, my sister Judy had brought me to church that night. The same night, come on, amen. I said, God, let me try you. Let me try you. I'm going to try you. What did that mean to seek you, God? He said, begin to pray. Begin to talk to me. Well, I didn't know how to pray, but I could write God a letter. Dear God, that was my prayer. Oh, I, I, and I found out when you pray, you ain't got to say, Father, God. I could just say, Lord, let me tell you what's going on. I need your help right now. Lord, I got this going on. I got that going on. I need your help, Lord. Amen. How I many you can talk to God in real talk? And I began to speak to God in real talk, and I began to just write God some letters. And I realized as I began to write God letters, all the worry began to fall off of me. Now, that don't mean things change right away, but I can see the relief coming. Amen. 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 I knew something was getting ready to change. Amen. And I just kept talking to the Lord. Amen. And sometimes it don't come right away because the devil wants to discourage you and tell you, ain't nothing happening. You just keep praying. I kept praying. Hey, come on. That's it, Walter. Yeah. Hallelujah. You got to keep praying. Ha, ya, baba, shunduha. He said, ain't no movement going on. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing changing. But the Lord said, you keep praying. You keep talking to me. And I kept on saying, God, and this is going on, God. And God, and these kids need some shoes. Come on, amen. And God, I need gas in the car, God. I ain't even got hired. And God, I just got hired for a job, God. But I ain't even got gas to get to the job. And I began to tell God everything. How many know God want to know everything, huh? He want to know all your business, huh? Why do God want to know all my business? He wants he want you to know. He wants to see if you'll trust him with your business. It's not that God don't know, but I want to hear it out your mouth. Because the minute you say you're telling God, I, I can't do nothing with this mess, I'm trust you with it. Amen. And I begin to tell God everything, not kill. I mean everything, everything, everything. I even took God around the house. Open the camera. Look, God, ain't nothing up in there. Like he don't know. Amen. Look, God, this boy needs some shoes. His toes on the end. Just telling God everything. Amen. And you know that God delights in the fact that you trust him and share everything with him. After a while, I started seeing movement. Things start happening. Stuff start changing. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. God start moving. Amen. And, I, and, and let me tell you something. I wore, I wore that Bible out on that Matthew 6, 25. Amen. But God, because you said, because your word said it, God. And I, and I, and I, got, I, I begin to call God, God, I didn't make this up. You said this. Hey, hey. You said it, God. That if I seek you first put you before everything, amen, and not worrying about stuff, amen, but the trust you got, that you're going, that all these things that I'm trying to get, that I need, that you're going to take care of, you said this, God, and I, and I just kept reminding God, I mean, I hounded God, come on, somebody, amen, come on, amen, and see, when I grew, I knew better, but I began to hound God, God, come on, now, amen, huh, and after a while, stuff started happening, movement started happening, come on, amen, 
Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. After a while, amen, I had gas to get to work. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Daryl got a new job. Come on. Amen. And then we moved to a brand new apartment. Amen. Never been lived in. Amen. And lived rent free for 10 years. Don't tell me what God won't do. Amen. The Bible says, if you seek him and his righteousness. Come on, somebody. You need God to heal you? Seek him and his righteousness. Come on. Amen. He, ah, he said, I'll supply all your needs. If your need is healing, I'll heal you too. If you need peace, if you seek him, he'll give you peace also. I'm talking to somebody on today. Amen. That's not my message, but I'm talking to somebody. Amen. Uh, somebody here or somebody else needs to hear this. Amen. Uh, somebody online needs to hear it or somebody in here. Amen. Uh, you don't give up. I don't care if it looks like ain't nothing happening. I don't care if somebody say, if I was you, I don't know why you're praying. You keep praying. I'm a witness. I, I told you, I tried him. And I found out uh, that he's all right with me. Uh, I found out that God is faithful. Amen. I, I found out that God will do what he said he going to do. Somebody tell him thank you. Uh, come on, somebody tell him thank you. Amen. Uh, God will do. I just need you to do your part and trust me. God won't. See, see, worrying don't move God. Because worrying means I don't trust you. Worrying means that you don't believe God can do it. But if you say, God, I know you, I know you got this. I ain't going to worry no more. I'm going to trust you. Ha, robo shunde, hey, God. I don't care what the bank account say, even if it's closed and overdrawn. I don't care what, what that bank say, God. I believe, God, you're going to meet my needs. Huh? I don't care what the doctor said and how many reports they write. I believe you're going to heal my body. Let me tell you something. God ain't scared of cancer. Come on, amen. Come on, huh? God can heal, Amen. I don't care what the doctor say, I'll never be able to do. I know what God say I can do. I can do all things, what? Through Christ who strengthens me. Stand on the word of God. The word is true and it's faithful. Come on, somebody. Amen. Somebody say, it's faithful. It's faithful. It's... Anybody have seen God do great things in their lives? Amen. Great things. Come on, somebody. Stuff you didn't even see happening. God will do just that. If you believe God, I'm talking to somebody on today. If you believe God, God will do it. He is the God of the impossible. What does that mean? He do things that folks say is impossible to do. Because see, here's the thing about it. If you can do it, it would be, within, it would be, it would, it would be your ability. If man can do it, it would be man's ability. Amen. I, but see, the fact that man can't do it, amen, that's God's power in action. Come on, somebody. Amen. My God is amazing. That's why I serve him. Amen. That was a time I didn't want nothing to do with God. Amen. But once I found out how great he is, amen, I'm scared not to have him in my life. Come on, somebody. Amen. Somebody say every day. I need him every day. Every hour. Amen. I need him every day, every hour. Huh? Tell somebody, say, it's going to be all right. Now, kill. It's going to be all right. Now, kill. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Huh? Uh, we all, we all can show you, huh, I, I, I Walmart, huh? We all can show you, huh, we've been pinned, huh? but it's going to be all right, huh? And sometimes you got to encourage yourself and say, self, it's going to be all right. Self, we're going to get through this, huh? Self, God got us in this, amen. Uh, maybe you ain't got nobody around you that believe, amen. Nobody you can encourage you, but you can encourage yourself. Uh, I'm going to encourage myself. Pauline, girl, you got this, huh? You and God, God going to see you through this. Amen. Uh, Pauline, just, just hold on. Amen. Uh, you can encourage yourself. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I got this. I got this. Somebody say, me and God, we got this. We got this. Uh, we got this. Come on, tell them thank you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and tell them thank you. I don't want to get too far out of the camp. I have a Lord said, I want you to pray like you stand up. I want you to lay up before God. And I want you to holler. I want you to cry out to God. Because God promised some things. Amen. And God said, I want you to call it to my attention. Amen. And the heaven Lord said, when I move, when I say move, I want you to move. Because God said, I'm going to come suddenly. Amen. He said, I'm going to do a sudden move. Amen. He said, when you begin to cry out, I'm going to do a sudden 
move. Come on. Listen to this horrible shunder. I, I see some, I see where some things got scrambled. Amen. But God said, I'm gonna unscramble, amen. And I'm gonna show you who I am. I look like God said some things got pushed back. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you who I am, God said. I'm going to move suddenly. Come on, somebody. Somebody up a praise God. Hey! Somebody up a praise God. I, I hear the Lord said, I want you to put every weight down today. Ah, your robo shun, the robo say he got out. He said, this is not your life. This is not what I have laid out. This is not the plan that I, yeah, wait right there. This is not the plan that I have for your life, amen. I, this is not how I wrote it out. So I don't want you to think this is it, God said. Praise me for what's to come, the Lord said. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, give him a praise. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Before you leave today, my brother, amen. I'm going to give you a Bible, amen. And I'm going to put a post note on about the Lord's right as I'm talking. Three scriptures God wants you to read, amen. And I'm going to put my, I'm going to put a post note on, amen. This time next year, that don't mean it's, that don't mean it's going to take that long, but this time next year, God said, your life will not be the same. Ah. He, God said, where you are, he, he said, tell my, he said, tell my son that where you are right now is temporary. It's a temporary thing, God said. Look like God said, by the end, by the end of February, you're going to see, start, you're going to see things start moving for you, the Lord said. He said, but by, by the end of the year, your whole life going to be different. All right. He said, tell you this. He said, tell you, you have not failed. Hard. Sometimes you say, man, I, I just, he said, you, you have not failed. God said, I just got to get you to a better place. That's all, huh? He said, I, I, I put a stop sign right now so I can get your attention, God said. Now I can get you to a better place. Huh? And now watch what God begin to do. Everything's going to go up. Somebody give God a praise for him. Somebody give God a praise. Huh? Somebody give God a praise. Huh? Hallelujah. Somebody give God a praise. Yeah, Lord, Robo Shondo, Robo Sehi. Yeah, Lord, Yo Rabba, Bahaja, Robo Shondo. Oh, yeah. I need somebody to say it's getting blue. Somebody just point your hand and tell them, say it's getting better. It's getting better. It's getting better. Now clap your hands and give God a praise. Ah, Yo Robo Shondo. It's getting better. Hey! Hallelujah. 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 Oh, your robo shundo. God is good. Amen. Somebody say, watch God do what he do. Watch him do what he do. Amen. Ah. Glory to God. Watch him do what he do. My God. Huh? Lift your hands and tell him thank you. Just say thank you. Look here. Look. I hear the Lord say this. Look. Hey. Whatever you believe in God for right now, I want you to pull that one thing in higher. That thing that you believe in God for right now. And I want you, don't move till I tell you to move. Amen. Believe in God for this one thing. Hey. And my message is going to start a whole different way today. Look at here. But I hear the Lord say, that one thing you believe in me for, I want, I want, God, I'm going to prove to you who I am. I'm going to show you that I don't lie. Hey. And that I'm a faithful God. That one thing that you believe in God for, you're going to put a praise on that in a minute. Hey, bye-bye, shut up. He said, I want you to focus on that one thing. And I want you to begin to thank me for it. Oh, come on, wait a minute. Hold on, shut up. I don't want your mind filled with nothing else. I don't want no doubt to come in, no worry to come in, no, dis no distraction. But I want your mind focused on that one thing you believe in God for. Maybe you believe in God for your child. Maybe you believe in God for a job, for healing. Uh, you, you believe in God for a good job. You believe in God for re whatever it is, that one thing it is. I want you to focus on that one thing. Horrible, say God. The Lord said, I'm, uh, God, God is going to attend to your praise right now. Now I want you to begin to thank God for that one thing. Come on. That's it, come on. Come on. That's it, come on. Come on, that's it, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, huh? Huh? I want that praise to move from your mouth to your heart. Come on, huh? Come on, somebody. Hey. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. 
Ah, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Rabos, he got it. Come on, that one thing. Hey! You thanking God because you see it already done. Come on, thank you, huh? Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, the Rabos, Shondo, God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabos, he got it. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hey, hey. Give God a praise right now. Hey, hey, hey. Uh -huh. hey God. Come on and give God a praise. Horrible hey God. God is 
Lord, thank you. Oh, come on, tell them thank you. God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. The Lord said, this time is going to be different. God said, she looked like God said, she's going to hear me. This time is going to be different. But God said, sometimes I allow things uh, to, uh, to allow your spirit to get rest. He said, but tell her, this time is going to be different. God said, I'm going to take hold of that mind. And God said, every thought that will come in her, that will come in her mind, uh, Every voice, God said, I'm shutting them down. And we speak, and we agreeing right now that God let that mind be in her, which is also in Christ Jesus. And God said, every time you call her name, you remind God, God, let her, God, give her the mind of Christ. Give her the mind of Christ. Give her the mind of Christ. I don't know why I hear the Lord say, tell you, something's going to be life-changing for you. He said, life-changing. You get ready for that in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. Now y'all can turn the heater off now. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Woo! Hey! Oh, that must be Holy Ghost fire. Come on, somebody. And he all right. God is good, huh? You know what I love about? Not only is God good, God is faithful. Knock it off, Melvin. Because if God said he's going to do something, God going to do something. You know what I'm saying? Come on, come on, give God a praise. Ah, come on, give God a praise. But look. Hold on. 
Hold on, but let me tell you this. You know you have a sentence and as the period we move yesterday, God said, oh, that's a comma. Because there's more to come. Come on, somebody. Help her praise God. Hey! And I hear, hold up. He said, there's a comma. He said, until I said, it's coming suddenly. Come on. You will have more than what you need in then, son. You gonna have to give away, said the Lord. Say, that's how I'm finna bless you. Come on, somebody. Huh? Come on, hey! God is good. Hallelujah. Ha! Huh. Let me tell you something. You know what? Let me, let me just tell you something. Amen. And, and I want you to hear this because this is for y'all right now. When we were in that house for 10 years, amen, doing church. Remember that? Amen. And then we moved into this building that was probably about this big. Remember that? Amen. We were there 18 months. And then God moved us next door. And I, and, I, and, and I asked the Lord, God, why are we moving so already? already? Amen. He said, I needed you in this small place to learn how to do things and to establish you. Amen. And then once I established you, amen, and I see some things came in order, amen, I was able to bless you with something greater. That's what's going to happen. This move right here is to establish you. Amen. But then something greater going to come. Tell the Lord, thank you. Come on, somebody. Faithful over a few things. Rule over much. Tell God, thank you. And he all right. And he all right. Ha, robo shandiga. I don't know what the law is going to do, but I got a word now. Amen. I, look, I, I had to look at you. Amen. Because I said, I don't think we're going to be here long. That was when we first got here. I don't know what the law is going to do. Amen. But we're going to let God be God. Is that, is that all right? Amen. Woo, all right. Amen. We're going to let God be God. Amen. Because God is great. Come here, Roland. Amen. Because God is great. Uh, I need some folks that know how to pray to pray with me. Amen. You know, we were here last week saying right there. Amen. And the Lord spoke. He said, I'm going to do it again. Y'all remember that? Amen. He said, I'm going to do it again. What do you mean? If I have done the impossible in your life one time, God said, watch me do it again. Come on, amen. I think pastor said something about God never runs out of new. Amen. Amen. He said, I'm going to give you one. I'm going to reach and do another new thing. Amen. And I'm going to do it again. Amen. He said, tell you if I did it once, I'm going to do it again. I curse every diagnosis that don't speak healing. I curse every diagnosis that don't speak wholeness. I, I curse every diagnosis that don't line up with the word of God. And I curse the root of cancer in the name of Jesus. I curse the root of cancer. I speak to that stomach right now. And I call it whole right now. In the name of Jesus. I call it whole in the name of Jesus, God. I speak it over your life right now. I speak to that stomach and everything surrounding it. In the name of Jesus. Say, get to the altar. We'll be back. God said, You release everything. Ask God to forgive me for everything, God. For, forgive me, God, for being slowful, God. Forgive me, God, for those times that were disobedient, God. Forgive me. Huh? How many know you had to forgive God? Ask God to forgive me. Because, see, when you're asking God for healing, amen, God not going to move with their sin. You got to ask God to forgive you. Come on, amen. Lord, God, God ain't got you. 
situation, amen, you got to ask God to heal you, amen. The Bible, the Bible tells us he wants to heal us, amen. But God don't increase us when we're full of sin. Come on, somebody, amen. That's why we got to repent. But I'm believing God for his healing, amen. Come on, somebody. There's nothing too hard for my God. Hallelujah. How many believe God will heal today? We serve the impossible God. I believe if God can heal him from cancer one time, 30 years ago, then God can do it again. Because I found out he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. That my God never changes. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. And that time they gave him 30 days to, to live, amen. It's been over 30 years. Come on, somebody. I'm going to tell you exactly. It's been 34 years. I remember because Randy was two when he came to my house. And we began to pray, amen. And the Lord said, you will not die, but you shall live and declare the works. And God said, I mean for you to declare the works. I mean for you, hey, to declare the works, my brother. Come on, somebody. When God heals, you got to get up and tell somebody about it, amen. You got to tell God's glory, amen. Hallelujah. Horrible. It's our obedience that moves God. Our God is so faithful. Come on, Ashley. Now, y'all know I had a word, amen. But God is the word. Stand right there. The Lord said, I'm already doing it. I curse every, every misdiagnosis. Oh, I hear the Lord say misdiagnosis. I curse every misdiagnosis. Oh, everything that, I curse everything. They can't put a name on it and want to give it a name. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. Oh, you're about shunned about say he he. Because God, you are healer, God. In the name of Jesus, God. I curse the root of it right now. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, 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 you're about God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh, Robo, say he, God. Oh, yeah. He's going to say, it's not this, and it's not that, and we think it's this, and we think it's that, and the Lord said, because it ain't nothing. Come on, somebody. Ah, oh, that's it. Say that again. In Jesus' name. It ain't leukemia. Come on, somebody. What they want to say it was, amen. It ain't nothing terminal, amen, like they want to say it was, uh, it ain't nothing that's required this and required that, the Lord say, because it ain't nothing. I hear the Lord so clear telling, because it ain't nothing. Come on, punch your hand toward it and say, it ain't nothing. Audible, Stay right there, don't move. He said, it ain't nothing. And God said, as you begin to change in your eating, you're going to see a difference, the Lord say. And you're going to see it ain't nothing. Hallelujah. name of Jesus, I call you whole. In the mighty name of Jesus, I, I speak over this vessel from the top of her head, God, to the very soles of her feet, God. And I call you, we, and we together, God, we call you whole. 
in Jesus' name. There's higher, there's power in, in numbers. Amen. We speak it over your life. Hey, the Lord said, be about my business. He said, I want you to meditate on my word both day and night. Ah, yeah, Baba Sikika. Horrible sin. I have even heard the Lord say, God. God said, There's some things I've been trying to reveal to you, God. The Lord said, hey. But God said, Through this and through praying, I'm going to show you something, God said. He said, I told you I'll give you power to get, to get wealth. But God said, You've not been focused to hear what I'm saying. But God said, Through, this, through your praying right now and through your meditation, God said, I'm going to direct you, God. See, oh, Robo, I'm, not only am I going to make you whole, God, but I'm going to make your life whole. Oh, see, oh, Robo, shundu, ha. Ha, yo, bo, shundu, ha. Just like that, I heard him say, tell her, if she believed me, if, if she trusts me, God said the struggle is over, daughter. Come on, somebody. Hey! Not only am I going to heal your physical body, but I'm going to heal your heart. Every torn place, every broken place, every ripped place, hey! every punctured hole. I'm going to heal all of it, the Lord said. Hey! In the name of Jesus. God said, you watch. It's all going to go. And God said, everything that want to linger. I'm going to cause it to be released in the name of Jesus. Come pray with it right now. For every hurt to be gone. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Anybody believe God today? You got to believe for one first that he is God. And you got to believe that he can do the impossible. Come on, amen. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. The Bible said that the believer can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. The believer. He didn't say just the pastor, but the believer can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. When my legs got so bad and I couldn't even walk, amen, even one time I spent the week in a wheelchair. Come on, amen. I forgot that sometimes we forget for ourselves. I forgot I'm a believer. I took my believing hands and I began to lay hands on my own legs. Huh? I said, Lord, you know I got to preach. God, you know I got stuff to do, God. I can't be in no wheelchair. I can't be hobbling along, God. I can't be doing this. I, God, you got to touch these legs. Amen. And I think my left leg was really, really bad. Amen. And it had swelled so bad, I was wearing these sleeves on them. Amen. And I was at work one day and got up and couldn't get up. They had to carry me to my, to my car. Amen. And then Randy met me outside with a wheelchair, and I wheelchair for about a week. Amen. Went to the doctor and they said it was severe, it was chronic inflammation on my legs. Amen. And I told the devil, you a lie. This ain't my life. This cannot be my life. Come on, somebody. Man. And the Lord says, seek your healing. The believer, the word, you can read in the word. He said, the believer can lay hands on the sick. Look, and he didn't say they might be, he said they shall be healed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Now, I believe that God has healed me. Amen. I believe that God is healing me. I'm in, I'm in the midst of complete healing. Amen. Come on. Amen. Glory to God. Come on up here, my brother. I believe God going to heal you. Stay right there. But I hear the Lord say, this time, be about my business. I speak to this vessel.
Come on, somebody, give him a prayer. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey. This is going to be your last surgery. Lord said, no more. That's enough. I'm moving through your body. Look like God, look like God said, from your neck down, I'm moving. Every, every limb, every muscle, hey, hey. every tendon, all through your feet, across your ankles and through your feet, I'm moving. Through the back of your legs, God said, I'm moving right now. I'm taking the stress. And the pull out of your body. Come on. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, He said, I'm taking the stress and the pull out of your body. And I'm causing healing. Somebody come over here. Come on, come on, Greg. And I'm causing healing. Through this body. I hear God say through the back of your thighs. No, yeah, the back of your thighs. Down through your calves. And through your feet. God said, You're going to feel a fire. Horrible And God said, That's me. That's me. That's me. I'm releasing every tight band. I'm releasing every tight band. I'm not going to move my hand till he say so. I'm moving every tight band. Eh? That's it. Every tight. He right there. He got you. Every tight band. Eh? It's coming out. I'm releasing it right now. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Every tight band. It's coming out. He got you. No more snaps. No more snaps. No more pain, no more medication every day. No more wrapping up this and wrapping up that. No more heat, no more ice. It's done. Hey, Come on, somebody say, it's done, it's done, it's done. Hallelujah. Even when I walk, Lord, the Lord said, tell you, your back is healed. That pull won't be in your back. Look, and through your legs, no more. God said, that's done. Come on, somebody. I guess this is a healing service, huh? No more sciatica. No more sciatica. Come on. There's, a, there's an anointing for healing in the house today. And God said, you won't know because that stiffness is going to be gone. Come on. You ain't going to have to think about when you get up. You're going to know God. It look like, look like, look like God, there's, there's something in your, right in the spine area that God get ready to move in. And that's going to lift high, Baba, a pressure off your nerve, the Lord say. And you're going to know God has done this. Ha ha, your robot, say, God. 
He said, tell I said, complete healing. You're going to alter your body. Let me tell you this too. Go your elbow shut down. God said, even what, he said, tell you this, even what LJ, he's come a long way. God said, but that ain't the end. Even his, you're going to know because his walk going to become lighter. Ah. God said, you're going to know I have moved for him. Because the way he walked, gonna be, you just going to notice he walking different right now. Because it looks like God said, I'm getting ready to move on his body. I'm getting ready to move through his central nervous system. And God said, I'm going to move on every, every misfire. Hey, Baba Shonda, Robo Seke, God. Hallelujah. Horrible shonda. It look like God's number start in the brain. Horrible shonda, horrible say, okay, God. Ha, yeah, Baba say. And something about the way he walk gonna catch your attention. I I don't see a wobble in his walk. Horrible shonda. I see a smooth walk. You gonna know, hey, hey. You gonna know, ha, your horrible shonda, that God has moved for him, ha. Ha, your horrible shonda. God, look like God said, for the next 10 days, you call his name out. God, I believe you for LJ. I'm standing on what you said for LJ. God said, the fact that you do it and you do it no be mean you trust me, God. Say, and your trust is going to make me move. Hey, come on, tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Glory to the Lord. Glory Somebody up and praise God. God's going to regulate your blood pressure. He said, they tried this and they tried that. God said, but I'm going to do it. God said, I'm going to do it. And I don't even know what this word means. God said, I'm going to do it clean. I'm going to do it smooth. They're going to hire a boat. And it looked like God said, even it looked like when they even call you to test your blood pressure. It ain't gonna look like it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be that evident when your blood pressure, but when they look at the numbers on your kidney, they're gonna know that God is doing something. Hey, hey! Oh, he said, I'm gonna do it so smooth. Hey. Oh, I curse every bloodline. Curse. This is to your bloodline. So I curse every bloodline sickness. 
every bloodline sickness. Hold up, bit of infirmity. I curse through of it right now. Oh, and I curse high blood pressure. Oh, Robo Siha. I'm 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 I curse hypertension. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh, Robo Siha. Dio Robo Shondi. Robo Siha. It's going to show, God said it's going to show up in your kidneys, eh? It's going to show up, God said, ah, in your kidneys. You're going to know that God has moved. Oh, Robo Siha. God said, if you believe me and trust me, within the next four months, what month is that going to be, y'all? June? Four months. May. March, April, no. February, March, April, May. This had a month ago. January, we in February now. March, April, May. She right. March, April, May, June. She right. June. By June. By June, you know you're going to know a difference. Woo! Even God going to move this wheezing out of your chest. Oh, Robo Sia. Dio Rama Mashon, the Robo Seke, God. Ha, ye, Korobo Sia. In the name of Jesus, God. God said, I'm clearing it up. I'm clearing it up. I'm clearing it up. And I speak over this body right now, God. I speak over from the top of his head, God, to the very soles of his feet, God. I speak it right now, God, in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. No stress. No worry. No worry. No stress. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, your robo sick. This is not your life. This ain't, this ain't what God had in the plans. This temporary. I'm going to put them right there for a minute to the Lord speak him. But that's not your life. This is not what God had in plan, had planned for you. In the name of Jesus. I'll be right back. Sometimes I gotta walk away because the Lord be speaking to me. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is not just going to heal you, but God going to deliver you. You hear what I'm saying? I'm going to deliver you. Horrible sin. There are some things that God is going to take out of your life. Horrible sin. He said, tell him that I am a restorer. Oh, Robo Shandora. And I'm going to begin to restore, Lord. Say. God said, as you trust me and as you believe me, I'm going to begin to restore. Let me, can I, can I borrow your, can I borrow your chair? I mean, you're, you're the closest one for me. God. I'm a, God said, I'm going to restore you. God, I'm, I'm, I'm going to lay hands on your legs. I'm, I'm, I'm a horrible sin. God, God going to restore your body. Woo, hey. I'm just waiting on the Lord to speak. Huh? Ooh, God. God going to take alcohol out of your life. You hear what I'm saying? I'm going to deliver you, God. God I'm going to take the taste of desire. And then God going to begin to move in your body. Look at God say, all down through your back, through your hips and through your legs. God said, I'm going to heal your body. Oh, God, I'm going to let you see how mighty and how powerful I am. Horrible Shandoha. He said, you might have heard him. He said, but you're going you gonna to know me. Horrible Sehiga. You're going to know me. Horrible Shandoha. I'm waiting on God. In the name of Jesus, God. Yeh da basika. Dio romo si dio ramamahaya. 
heart. God said, I got a better plan than that for your life. In the name of Jesus, God. God going to move through your organs. that they're going to have to take you off of. But not because it don't help. For God said it, it causes more adverse issues than it does dealing with what's going on. So God said, I'm getting ready to move in your legs. I'm going to do a complete healing in your leg, God said. In your legs. You're going to know that God has moved. Hallelujah.
Come on, somebody, tell them thank you. I said, no more headaches. No more headaches. My God. God is good. Be worthy of the praise. To that scripture that I talked about earlier, I'm gonna go to the sixth chapter of Matthew. Matthew 6. And then somebody give me the one that said, Thank you, Philippians, amen. That my God shall supply. Hallelujah. We're going to Matthew 6. I still hear the Lord speaking, so give me a minute. This is going to be your year of contracts. I hear contracts. Contracts. I'm going to tell God, don't let, look, watch me be selfish. Lord, I'm going to tell God, don't let, let them be on Sunday morning. No. <laughs> but, I hear, but as I'm here, I hear, as I hear the Lord say contracts. This is going to be your year of contracts. Honorable God. Get ready for that. You're going to have to let something go because something going to be greater contracts. And I, and I say that in the pearl sense. Hallelujah. Get ready. The summer month's going to be good for you. And I'm going to say when it starts getting warmer, maybe that might be earlier, but that's going to be good for you. That's going to be a good time for you. Hallelujah. You're going to Money away. I see saving. I see. I see you gonna begin to build. This is gonna be not just contracts, God said, but a transitional time. And I see you gonna be, begin to build. God said, look like. And I, I, I say, I, I don't know what this means, but I'm just gonna say, He said, look like those eight years are coming to an end. Amen. See, eight years of just struggle. He said, it's coming to an end. And transitioning. Somebody tell them thank you. God is good. Still no rain. on yesterday, amen. We had a beautiful home-going service for Judy, amen. And we just thank God. I thank, I thank God for family. I said, Lord, I'm just so blessed, amen. I thank God for family, amen. And I look at, I'm looking at the next generation of my family, and I'm just so proud of them young people, amen. I look at them yesterday, and I just, every time I see them, I'm just, Lord, I'm just so proud of the, 
the adults they have become. Amen. Some of them now, we be kind of worried about them now. Some of them we got crazy along the way. I ain't naming no name, Asia. I'm just saying. Hello, amen. She online. That's why I'm saying amen. I'm just saying amen. But I just look at the adults they have become, and I'm just so proud of what God is doing. Amen. All I'm going to tell you is that God answers prayers. Amen. My mama knows she prayed. And I'm believing God for my mother as well. Amen. Amen. Oh, my God. We had the six shepherds. Somebody found Philippians for me. Amen. I knew I was right there and, and left it. Amen. Philippians 4. Read it for me. But my God, but my God, somebody say my God. my God. My God shall supply all your needs. Look at somebody say all your needs. All your needs. According to his riches and glory, right? Let me, but my God, need, amen. My God will supply all your need. Amen. Whatever, wherever there is a need, God will supply that, amen. According to his riches. Now look at here. According to what he has, and I know he got some stuff. According to his riches and glory, amen. So I know that God going to take care of me. Can I get a witness? Amen. The verse, the scripture tells me that he going to supply all my need. Amen. All of your need according to what he has. So I, I, I can rest in that. Amen. That sounds good. Amen. But sometimes you know that, but you still be worrying. Can I come to church? Say Amen. Amen. Sometimes that's not enough when there's no gas in the tank and there's no food in the fridge and the money and, 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 the, and, and, the, and the account is overdrawn. Sometimes yeah, that's not enough. I just need something to hang on to, God. Come on, somebody. Amen. And then we go to the sixth chapter of Matthew. Amen. Verse starting at verse 25, it says, uh, it says, therefore I say unto you. No, I'm going to go. I got to go up one more because I want you all to get this. He said, no man can serve two masters. That means you can't serve God and the world. Come on, amen. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other. Amen. Amen. You're going to love one more than other. What do you mean? You're going to spend more time in one than you will the other. You can't serve two masters. Amen. Glory to God. You're going to love one. Do you mar- I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. You married, you got a good, you got a good uh, husband, or you got a good wife, amen, and you love them to death, and along comes somebody, and now you're involved in them, and now you're treating them in this one over here any kind of way because you're having a hard time loving them both. Hello, amen. You're going to love one more than the other. Amen. Glory to God. So a man, uh, uh, he said, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate one, the one, and love the other, or else he will hold to one. He's going to be close to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. you got to make up your mind what side you're going to be on. Come on, amen. How many know heaven and hell is real? People don't believe that stuff. Heaven is real. I don't understand how folks can believe heaven is real, but they don't believe hell is real. Oh, yeah, they went to heaven. There's, there, there's a counter of heaven. It's called hell. And the Bible tells us that hell is making itself larger. Why? Because people have lost their minds. People are going crazy. So hell might, I'm just giving an example. Hell might have been this big, but now he see, oh, okay, now they doing this. Now they doing this. Now they doing this. It is making itself larger for more people. Come on. Say, say Pastor. It wasn't, it wasn't intended for us. Amen. But the saints of God have, are serving two masters. And they are loving more over here than they are over here. Amen. And we only serve God when it's convenient. Or we serve God when things are hurting or when we're going through stuff. We, in the, we get in the habit of pimping God only when we need something from God. Come on, somebody. Amen. And so hell says, you know what? Here they come. Here they come. I don't care if they do go to church. When they're outside of church, here they come, here they come. And so hell starts to expand itself. The Bible already said we're going to barely make it in. Come on, somebody, amen. Then it goes on, 25, said, Therefore I say unto you, this is talking about just trusting God. Take no thought. In other words, don't worry. Don't be thinking about this for your life. What shall you eat or what shall you drink? For nor, nor yet for your body, which you're going to wear, amen. For you, what ye shall put on. Is not life more than meat, more than food, and the body more than raiment, more than clothes? 
Okay? Isn't life more important than that? We worried about the latest and greatest, amen. We mad because we don't have this and we don't have that, amen. And we get stressed out about that stuff. God said, why are you worrying about that? Amen. We put too much value on stuff. Somebody say amen. amen. I got kids in my class or kids at school that can't read. Fourth grade, fifth grade can't read, but they got the latest and greatest. When they come to school, they look good. Amen. They be, they, be, they be shining up, tie dyed, laid to the side, amen, amen, new shoes, new hair, cut, fresh cut, amen, new hair, amen, everything, amen, can't read a lick, can't even blend, what does that mean, blend, they can't put b at together, can't blend, amen, because your focus is on that, amen, glory to God, amen, you send things home in the, in the backpack, amen, they come back in the backpack, Amen. Things that's going to help your child, they don't come back. But send a coupon home that you're going to get some joy. They're going to get that out of there. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Mama, they gave us a coupon. You're going to get that one out. Hello. Amen. And so he said, isn't life more important than that? Isn't life more important than food? And life, how many learned that through this fast? Amen. And how many of you right now can't even eat certain stuff right now? Come on. Amen. He said, isn't life more important than that? Come on. Amen. He said, behold, behold means look. He said, behold the fowl. Look at the birds in the air. For, the, for they sow, amen, they don't work. They sow not. They don't work. Neither do they reap. They don't get a paycheck. Nor gather into barns. They don't have a banking account or a savings account. But yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. How many of you guys have seen birds out there? They'll snatch your stuff and go, Amen. Amen. Or God will let somebody go buy some bread and throw out crumbs. Amen. Uh, come on, you. They don't, God have made birds. See, some of y'all got bird feeders in your yard. I made, he said, let your, yet your heavenly father feeds them. Amen. If God, God, he'll make a way. He, the birds get fed. You don't see a bunch of skin. We got the fattest pigeons on this side of the earth. Come on. Amen. <laughs> but these birds get fed. Amen. We were, in, um, we were in Italy at the, um, at the Dumo, amen? It's a big chapel, and thousands and thousands of pigeons. It's a big old round thing, and you stand in the middle, and people are like this with bird seed and stuff all on them and on their head, and birds, these big old fat pigeons everywhere. But yet your heavenly Father feeds them. I think God better put them on a system or something, because they <laughs> Amen. But if God can feed the birds, come on, amen. Look at here. He said, look at the birds of the air. For they, they don't sow, they don't go to work, amen. Neither do they reap, they don't get a paycheck, nor gather. There's no, in the barn, there's no, there's no savings account. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much better than them? Aren't we more important to, them, to God than, this, than these birds? Amen. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit, can add an inch to your height? Amen. Because we know that worrying doesn't build up. Worrying does what? Tears down. Come on, somebody. Amen. He said, which of you by worrying, amen, can grow? And we know that worrying, it tears you down. It gives you ulcers. Come on, what else? High blood pressure. Come on. Headaches, acid reflux. It tears you down. Insomnia, amen. So worrying tears down, amen. He's saying, which of you by worrying can add, amen, one cubic, one inch, amen, to your statue? Why, so why, ye, and why take ye thought for raiment? What you worried about clothes for? Why are you sure? I don't have, I, I ain't got nothing to wear, amen. I don't have the latest and the greatest, nothing to wear, amen. Y'all remember one time, we didn't have but one pair of shoes. Who remember that? Amen. And we were lucky to get that. We had PF flyers. Come on, somebody. What y'all know about that? Hello, amen. Y'all, I just aged us. Hello, amen. And sometimes we wore our shoes that they had holes in the bottom. What y'all know about that? Amen. Amen. Yeah. We didn't get another pair of shoes until they was, until we just couldn't wear them no more. Oh, y'all, y'all don't know about that. Y'all entitled. Entitled. Put some cardboard in there. Amen. You know about that. Amen. And you wore them shoes until mama got that check, amen. And see, you got nine, that means you two get some shoes this time. Y'all get some next time. My time might not come for a while, amen. Let me see who got the worst pair, amen. That's how it was. He said, why are you worried about clothes? We used to pass things down. I didn't have to get passed down because I was the tallest. 
Everybody got my stuff. Come on, amen. Hello, amen. There's advantages to that. Hello, amen. So we used to get stuff passed down, and we would get hand-me-downs. Come on, amen. Amen. Mama said, we ain't going to go buy nothing. All them, uh-uh. And now we ain't want to have now. Hello, amen. We don't wash what we have. Amen. We always go buy a new outfit. Uh-huh, that's another story. But anyway, look at here. Why are you worrying about clothes? He said, think about, consider the lilies in the field. Think how pretty they are. How they grow. How they toil or not. They don't work. Neither do they spin. They don't sow. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon, King Solomon, you know how grand and great he was, in all his glory was not arrayed. He wasn't dressed. He didn't even look as good as one of these lilies. Wherefore, if God so clothes the grass, in other words, he makes the flowers look beautiful in the field, which to this day is here, which to this day and tomorrow it is cast into the heaven, and into the oven, and shall he not much clothe you? He said, think about the flowers, the lilies in the field. They look pretty right now. Beautiful colors, the roses are so pretty, and chrysanthemums, and everything's so pretty. They're here right now, but they'll die out tomorrow. They will tomorrow. Temporary. Won't God take care of you too? Amen. Amen. He said, I said, look, shall he not much more close you? O ye what? Of little faith. Therefore, take no thought. Quit worrying. Tell your neighbor, say, quit worrying, quit worrying. Take no thought means uh, quit worrying. Quit worrying saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? Amen. Or what or wherewithal shall we be clothed? We're going to put on. Amen. For all of these things do the Gentiles seek. What does that mean? Folks that don't know God, folks that are unsaved, they worry about the latest and greatest. They worry about these things. When you and God, you know that God going to supply your needs, right? So I don't have to stress out about that stuff. Amen. He said these things the Gentiles seek. Those that don't believe God, maybe they, they, they worry about this kind of stuff. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. He said, this is how you're going to get over right here. But seek ye first. Look first. For the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seek to live for God. Seek to do the right thing. For, seek to do the right thing. Seek the kingdom of God. How do I seek that? How do I seek the kingdom of God? Prayer, what else? Read the word of God. Come on, amen. Come on, amen. A lifestyle, amen. I got to, I got to live a life that's going to please God. I got to make God want to bless me. Come on, amen. I got to look like I want something from God. I got to clean up my mess. I got to get rid of all my foolishness. Come on, amen. Because God don't increase when you're in sin, amen. But if I get rid of all my mess, he got to give me something, now, amen. That's like, that's like when you, like when the kid go to your mom and say, ah, go wash your hands. I ain't putting them in your hands. He's like, God said, ah, go wash up. I'm not going to, I'm not going to bless you with all this sin. And then when that child go back and wash their hands, amen, and they see, and the nails still there, and they still got a little bit, he said, ah, you ain't cleaning up. Go wash the mess. That's how God, uh, uh, you still got some stuff there. You still got some stuff. You act like you don't see it. Go wash it. Come on. You might have some unforgiveness. You might have some lying. You might have some backbiting. You might have some old, some old stuff. Go get rid of all that stuff. And then you come back, and the kid come back. And then he said, at that time, he said, it's both hands. It's clean. Then the parent will put something in it. And when you come back, when you get through washing it, and God see your heart is clean, that's when God can bless you. <laughs> now, let me just say this. We sin every day, all day, every day. We roll our eyes. Come on, amen. And sometimes it's not intentional. Sometimes we just do stuff out of habit. Oh, she get on my nerves. There you go. <laughs> but it's important that we say, oh, Lord, forgive me. I know that wasn't right. I'm glad she lost her job. Uh-uh. Hello, amen. Forgive me, Lord. The way she be acting, I'm glad she gone. Forgive me, Lord, because that could have been me. Come on, amen. So we all sin. It's just our nature. We, we are sinful natured. But it's important that we, have, we catch ourselves and say, God, forgive me. I, that was wrong. I shouldn't have said that. Some of us going to leave here and get cut off and cut somebody out. Ooh, that's quiet. I bet you do. If I had a camera, I could see some stuff in your car. Come on, amen. But we have to say, God, forgive me. Some of us got to be delivered from road rage. Hello, amen. Help me, Lord. Somebody say, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. 
Don't be acting like you don't you don't be mad. Hello, amen. Let me say, let me tell you, let me talk about grace. I, when somebody when somebody doing something crazy on the road or doing something, Greg will wait good till he get close to him. <laughs> look here and look at and look at him. <laughs> and just then he'll just stare at him. <laughs> and they'll be like this. <laughs> Come on, amen. And he will intentionally catch up with him. Because you know, sometimes when they mess up, they're trying to run from you, amen. So he'll catch up with him. <laughs> and sometimes drive along looking at him. <laughs> Hello, amen. And you know, it makes people feel like this. Oh, Lord. Hello. Amen. But I don't know if Chip remember this. A long time ago, Chip. I'm going to tell on you. We was on the freeway going somewhere. Amen. I'm going to tell on him. Amen. We was on a, we was on a, on a 110. We was going somewhere on the freeway. We might have been going to see Chucky in jail. I think we was going to see Chucky. We was on the freeway. And somebody cut him off on the freeway. Amen. Uh, next thing I know, you, he took out some pliers and threw it. At the car. I was like, oh, Lord, get me out of here, Jesus. I got to go. <laughs> look, I wasn't, look, I wasn't even saved then, but I was like, oh, Lord, get me out of here. Amen. I wasn't saved, but I was scary. Come on, amen. He, didn't, look, he forgot he didn't have Jolene unless he had me with him. Hello, amen. But he threw them plies and called him a couple, two or three names, amen. And I was glad we got it back together. Come on, amen. Amen. I remember that from a long time ago. So we all sin. We all mess up. But it's important that we realize it and say, you know what, Lord, I was wrong. Forgive me, Lord. No, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have acted like that. Amen. But sometimes we hold on to stuff. And that's why our body breaks down sometimes. We got too much hate and jealousy and unforgiveness. And, and, and that stuff is inside and it shows up in our physical being. Forgive me, Lord. Come on. Amen. And God ain't finna go through all this mess trying to heal you. Get rid of it. I'm not going to go through all this like a bless you. You got to want to be blessed. What that mean? I got to get rid of some of this foolishness. Come on, somebody. Amen. He said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He said, if you do that, then all these things shall, somebody say shall. Yeah. Shall be, amen. It will be. It not maybe or it might, but it shall be what? Yeah. Added on to you. I mean, I'm going to add on to you. I'm going to give you what you need when you begin to seek me and my righteousness. Therefore, and, with, and those needs, might, they, and they might not be limited to, to food and clothes. Right? You might need healing. You might need some peace. Come on. You might need some joy. You, not, you might need your kids delivered. Amen. It might be beyond those things, but God said if you will seek him first. He said, I'll supply all you need. All, everything you need, God will do it. Amen. He said, look, and then 34 says, therefore, therefore, take therefore no thought for, your, for tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Suffice, su sufficient unto the day is evil and thereof. In other words, you ain't even guaranteed tomorrow. Don't even worry about tomorrow. I'm going to stop right there. Don't even worry about tomorrow. Amen. Just lift your hands and tell God thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that every, 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 every soul, God, we thank you, Lord, that every need is being met today, God. We thank you, Lord, that you are faithful, God. We thank you, Lord, for this day, that you've allowed us to gather, God, that you may bring healing forth, God. Continue to cover us and continue to keep us, God. And we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. Give God a praise. God, is we're going to we're going to receive an offering at this time. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh God, prepare your hearts to give. This is for you that are in the building and you that are online. Just because you ain't in the house don't mean you can't give now. Cash App, PayPal, Zelle, 
You can get a credit card if you like, a debit card, whatever you have as a means to giving. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want you to bless the house of God today. If you've been, if you've been best blessed, be a blessing. Amen. If, you, if you've enjoyed seeing somebody else be blessed today. I heard somebody, I heard a prophet say, if, if the Lord don't say nothing, if the Lord is silent, that means there's no words to do today. There's no word this time. Hallelujah. But you can rejoice with those that the Lord is blessing. Come on, somebody. God, we thank you. Bless the hearts of your people to give on today, Father God. Let every need of this house be met. In the name of Jesus, God. And we thank you, Lord, for every cheerful giver, God. Hey, but because you, because you've had the giving, it shall be given. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Well, you cause men to give into our bosom, and then you say, "Bring your tithes and offerings to the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house." And prove me, but I will not open up the window of heaven and pull you out a pull you out blessing you don't have room to receive. We thank you for your work and help us to be obedient to it, Father God, in your Son Jesus' name. You can bring your offering at this time, Amen. Amen. Just a few announcements before we get ready to dismiss. Amen. Um, first of all, let's just uh, let's see here. We have uh, coming up just announcements. What goes on through the week? As you know, we have prayer. We have prayer on Tuesday evenings at six forty-five. We have prayer on Saturday mornings at eight thirty, and we have prayer at, on Sunday mornings at nine thirty in house um, and at. 10 a.m. if you are not in the house. Amen. Um, and then we also have Bible study um, on Thursday nights at 7.15. We're back on Facebook. Um, this week, Apostle will be teaching. Amen. Uh, Bible study. Justin taught this past week. He did a wonderful job. Um, our series is titled, What is Your Calling? Amen. So please join us for any of those services. Um, we cancel Bible study and morning nuggets. Our next Bible, uh, I'm sorry, Sunday school and morning nuggets. Our next Sunday school and morning nuggets will be on February the 18th. February the 18th. So we want to make sure we encourage uh, our youth to come out and parents also for you to join for the morning nuggets. That starts at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Amen. All right. Um, Women's Fellowship right now is tentative, tentatively. Um, scheduled for February the 17th at 9.30. Amen. Um, oh, okay. I guess, okay. 
All right, so Women's Fellowship is February 17th at 9.30 a.m., um, and that right now is tentatively scheduled for Zoom. We'll share an update if that it turns to, if it, cha- it changes to in-person. Amen. Um, the minister's training is going to be starting on February. Um, Apostle will be sharing more on that, uh, the date, and um, also the time. Um, I think she's finally, we've got the, the day and time, and so she'll be sharing that with the ministers. All right, the the youth, youth, young adult and youth choir um, will be rehearsing. This is 15 to 25, so please stay in touch with Brother Sean. Amen. And I think, yay, happy Valentine's Day to everyone in February. Hey, all year I'm going to get y'all back for December. All right, if you have a birthday in the month of February, please stand. I kill. All right. Oh, rolling. Oh, oh, let's. Oh, oh. You know, we want to send hearts, 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 hearts. Uh, let's sing happy birthday to all our Valentine. I mean, our birthdays. And we have more uh, birthdays as well in the month of February. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. And I think that's it. All right. Is there anyone that needs a church home while apostles coming? Amen. Anyone? Doors are open. I look like we're all family, but we do have a guest. So I'm not going to admit that. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. We are getting ready to uh, celebrate the woman of God. Let me get back up there. Amen. 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 I don't call her my assistant. I call her my co-pastor. Amen. We co-pastor this ministry, and I'm just so blessed to have her as the co-pastor. Amen. And so we want to celebrate this woman of God. She is a blessing to this ministry. I always say she's the motor that keeps the ministry going, and I'm so grateful for that, amen. Her organizational skills have just blessed this ministry and has blessed me. She keeps me on top of stuff, amen. I said, oh, Lord, here comes the club members. I forgot something. But look, amen. But she is a blessing to this ministry, and she's a dynamic, anointed woman of God. How many of you guys will agree to that? Amen. Amen. And I can say from all the 37 years I've known her, uh, 34 years that I've known Pastor Lisa, amen, um, I know her before she knowed Walter. I know her. I'm sorry. But I know her for a long time. Amen. All right, all right. <laughs> I don't know who I don't know who sniffed who out, but it happens, y'all. Amen. Amen. But nonetheless, since I've known her, she has been a woman that has been rooted in God. Amen. Her talk, her walk has always been that of God. Amen. That's the person that I've known. I don't know anybody outside of that. And like I said, I've been known her 34 years. Amen? And so um, we want to celebrate here. And we're going to have a service on the 25th of this month. Amen? And our theme is going to be a, a woman rooted and, and, and grounded in God. But it's also going to be a theme of uh, old-time religion. We're going to take it back old school. Amen? Y'all get your white skirts and your head coverings and your men get your hats and your suspenders. And we're going to take it back old time. Amen? And we're going to have an old-time church. And we're going to have some old-time songs. But we're going to have, we're going to still have, we're going to have some new-time money, though. Hello, amen. And that ain't going to change, amen. Amen. We, we, we want to, we want to bless her. Somebody say bless her, amen. We want to bless her, amen, because uh, the Bible tells that the servant is worthy of the hire, amen. And yes, you know, neither one of us don't, we don't take a salary from the church. Everything that comes to the church stays in the church. We don't take a salary. We preach all year because we love the ministry and we love what the Lord is doing. And so I pray that you, like me, would want to bless this woman of God. Amen. And so we're looking forward to that day on 25th to bless her. Amen. If you have not, if you want to be a part of that blessing and you have not received an envelope, I'd like to give you one at this time. Amen. Amen. If you want to sow into it. Let me tell you something. That's good ground. Somebody said that's good ground. Amen. Let me tell you something. Amen. It's, it's hard to find people, especially when you got somebody co-pastoring. Amen. Amen. 
trying to build their own church inside the church. Somebody say amen. They ain't trying to pull your members outside. Come on, amen. I take, I do. Thank you. Amen. Sometimes you got folks that have been in your church trying to steal your members. Amen. And I feel like, I feel like this. If, if they can steal them, they weren't yours in the first place. Come on, amen. Amen. But sometimes you have, you have, uh, you have people on assignment. And they have their own little stuff. They want to, dread, rather, than, rather than help you build what you have, amen, they will take away from what you have. But I've never had that issue. All, we, all she wanted to do is promote. I want, no, I, I want $100 or more. Now, y'all know if you break $100, that's it. $100 or more, we're going to bless her. Amen. We're going to do this once a year. Amen. I don't care if you give me 100 ones. Amen. I don't want nothing. I want $100 or more. We want to bless the woman of God. Amen. Glory to God. And then she's going to take me out to dinner when she get her money. And she's going to, nah, amen. We just want, we want, we want to show how much we love her. Amen. Amen. Give God a praise for today. Amen. I'm so glad you came today. I ain't seen you since maybe over 40 something years. Amen. But I'm so glad God led you this way. Amen. And I pray that God heals your body. Amen. God is good. Amen. We are standing to our feet. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, Roland, pray us out. God, once more again, we come to say thank you, God. God, we thank you for everything that you had said today, God. We thank you for the healing. We thank you for being God, God. Oh, God, we praise you. And God, as we leave it today, God, cover us and keep us, God, in Jesus' name. And we still give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen.